You know, there's a lot of different meanings for what hip-hop is, what hip-hop accounts for. Probably every individual who considers themselves part of the hip-hop generation will give you a different interpretation. I would like to give you an interpretation of my own. Hip-hop, let me think, hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop. Uh, I'm thinking back, I'm thinking back to Africa. I'm thinking back to the drums, and I'm thinking that the drums were the beat, the rhythm, the signal that called the community together, that called the community together, and everyone gathered around, and it was kind of like being uh, the first DJs, the first DJs, the drums, the rhythm. Did hip hop start now? Did hip hop start a long time ago? And as I was thinking about that, and I moved forward, and I moved the progression forward, and I thought about the areas that you may or may not know about, the middle passage, where those drums followed them, and the DJs began to come over to this country, and began to form an identity. And I remember that a focus, a central focus for everyone, a gathering place, I remember at a point in time, of course, it was the church that was a gathering place, and the preachers would stand, and they would get you to clap and cheer, and. I thought to myself, the first MCs, the first MCs. And then as I began to think about when did hip hop start? Did it start then? Did it start at some point in the future? And I thought about the whole entire section of minstrel shows and, and the jazz musicians and the culture and the style that was developed by musicians who were changing the way that we thought and bringing a different social consciousness into effect. So now we had the DJs and the MCs and the style. And then I thought about it some more and I thought, well, wow, we're going somewhere with this. Because as far as I know, hip hop started today. And then I thought that we moved forward to the rock era, where again, you could see the impact of culture and change. And then you know what, as we got to a little bit further and I thought, oh, okay, yeah, now this is where I started remembering about DJ Cool Herc and all of the different sounds that were coming from the Bronx in New York and where people were taking records and scratching them and doing beats and doing dances and break dancing and getting graffiti. And then we had a new section of music, something that people began to put a name to. And at that point in time, when there was no ownership to it, there was no name for it, we created an entire new breed of entrepreneurs selling music called hip hop out of the trunks of their cars. No longer did we need the record labels, thanks to hip hop. When did it start? I don't know. But I know that today, right here in Seattle, I am proud to be on this stage and recognize those of you who have been nominated for a Mayor's Award for Excellence in Hip Hop. Please give them a round of applause. As you will begin to see tonight, hip hop is many things, not the least of which is dance. Please, to get this show started off properly, welcome to the stage from the Dash Center, Reality Check.
City of Seattle and our mayor. Well, good evening and welcome to uh, Seattle City Hall. 
Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about the history of uh, the place you're in. We've been in this new city hall for about three years. You're in the Bertha Knight Landis room. Bertha was the first woman mayor of a major city in the United States. She was elected mayor of Seattle in 1926. Now she was elected on a uh, platform of temperance, that is prohibition, and she was unelected two years later. So we celebrate Bertha and the history that she made, uh, and we continue as a city to celebrate uh, the arts and culture and all of the things that make this such a vibrant, uh, wonderful city. Uh, Tony was telling you a little bit about the, uh, the roots of hip hop, and uh, he did a wonderful job of that. From my knowledge, hip hop as we know it today started in the early 70s in New York City. And it was uh, an expression, a way for people to, uh, to put out on, on the table what it was they were feeling inside. By the late 1970s, it had become a, a very popular uh, form of expression. And it's evolved ever since. And there are different forms of, uh, of hip hop, and they're celebrated in our city in many different ways. I have a chance as mayor to get around the city and see the city from a perspective that really nobody else gets to uh, experience every day. Uh, one of the forms of hip hop, of course, is uh, break dancing. And I've had a chance to go up to the Jefferson Community Center when the Massive Monkeys, one of the great uh, breakdancing crews anywhere, uh, practices. And when they practice up there, a hundred people come to that community center to watch and to participate. And most of them are young kids. Young kids looking for a role model to help them find a way to express what's inside of them. And it's a wonderful uh, I think example for the rest of our community and it's what we're trying to capture with the Mayor's Hip Hop Awards and what I think we've captured with our nominees tonight. So congratulations to all of you who are nominated, uh, to those of you uh, who, uh, who win and we'll find that out in a few minutes, a particular congratulations and we hope you'll continue to participate uh, and help this community find a way to express what's inside. Thank you. And Tony, will you come up here and we'll uh, We'll settle this uh, mystery, but who's the winner? Well, thank you, Mr. Bootnucker. <laughs> uh, this is the moment that we have been waiting for. And uh, again, there, there are no losers. All of you have enriched our community with what you have done. Let me say that be the first thing. You have all enriched our community with what you've contributed uh, right here in the city of Seattle. So, without much further ado, and I don't know who the winners are either. I'm pointing this out like you are, and I'm sure you are the same. And here we go. Oh, no, you're going to announce it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Come on. All right. You, he'll, he'll, he'll be my, what do they call it? Side buster. That's right. <laughs> the winner of one of our 2006 Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Hip Hop is a winner as a pioneer and DJ music historian, Daniel Clavicilla, Mr. Supreme. <laughs> Section records, man. Thank you. I really don't know what to say, you know, much love to everybody. Like I always say, without you, there's no me, so that's what's up. You know, I've been doing it for a minute putting it down just like everybody else, so thank you. <laughs> Everybody's deserving. Again, a big round of applause. This is, give them a years, years and years worth of applause for the work that you've done in the city. Okay, as the anticipation grows. The winner of a 2006 Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Hip Hop, Unsung Hero, Community Leadership, and Activism presented this day to Daniel Kajita King Kazam. Peace 
Peace and greetings. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate this. Um, this is uh, quite an achievement here. There's a lot of things going on, and it's, it's just wonderful to see, you know, hip hop as an expression, as a culture, be recognized that things like this can exist. I look forward to the day where we can work uh, more integrated with the community to really cultivate this and take it to the next level. Much, much respect, so thank you. Again, give him a year's worth of applause for the work that he's done in our community. Well, this is it. We have one more. Boot knock. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is kind of how it happened. You know, was, you know, Mayor, yo, what up, man? Let's, what are we going to do about this? Uh, we're going to work on it. Next yeah. year, we'll see if it fits. And... It's on. <laughs> okay. This is our final 2006 Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Hip Hop. And I can see that this award, and everyone is deserving, goes to someone who's been doing this for a long time. This award is in media, television, and producer and host. This goes to this day of October 7th, 2006, to Gordon Curvey. This has been a, young, a long year for me because those of you who don't know, I had a fire last year, I lost, uh, last November, in which I lost everything. And uh, this has been, this is like, I feel like I'm real emotional right now because this is like great and it makes my last year worthwhile. Um, I started this show real quick um, as a dream 16 years ago and I've been lucky enough to meet some of the biggest people in the history of um, hip hop, and that's real. But one of the things, and I'm just gonna leave you with this, but I can go on forever. First of all, I wanna thank Music I wanna thank Tony and the mayor for this award. But one thing that's really gonna make me happy is like winning the lottery is to see somebody, other than mix a lot, blow up from CI. <laughs> and, you know what blow up means, Oh, uh, that means make it big. Well, I can turn on a show called Rap City on BET and see somebody chopping it up from Seattle. That'd be like me winning the lottery. That's what's gonna make me happy, other than winning this award. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, can, we, can we get, can Mr. Supreme and Daniel come back up here? Can we have all of our winners this year back to the stage again? I should have had you guys stay on the sideline. And Daniel, if we can have you, come back here again as well. And also, please, one more time, they may not be here on the stage this year, but if we can get the, uh, those who were nominated to stand up again, everyone who was deserving, all those who were nominated, uh, CSIC records, uh, yeah. Sport Life Entertainment, JD from Way Out Records, and I'm not trying not to miss anybody, and, and C-Spot Media Group, and. Jesse Miller, uh, it's all factored into what we've, what we've managed to do here this evening. And this is, uh, here they are. This year's 2006 winners of the City of Seattle Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Hip Hop, Mr. Supreme, Gordon Curvey, and Mr. Kazan. All right, and it doesn't stop. Keep boot knocking. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, we can do the whole thing. One more, and then that one. Yeah, there we go. And, and, and. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> 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 
Right now, we're going to keep the entertainment going. A little later on, we've got acts coming up for you, national acts coming to the stage, and there will be no stopping. And as Puffy says, it just doesn't stop. Please welcome to the stage right now another representative of hip-hop. He puts it down for hip-hop all over the place. If you don't know, now you know, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the incomparable Rodney Raccoon. <laughs> Because sometimes we, we ask that and we wonder about hip hop and its place. I think that this should dispel those myths that hip hop is a wide variety of things. And it's not hard to be diverse in hip hop, it's as simply as the next individual. And the next individual coming to the stage again will represent a different diversity and a different message and a different image, all under the banner of hip hop. Please welcome to the stage Complex Kai. Okay. No, I know love anyway. <laughs> All right. 
No, we just a bunch of kids from Toledo. You know, the red's about 40 miles north of here, and we came to let y'all know where we from, you know what I mean, and how it is on the red. Let's do it real quick, man. As soon as the music comes in. Anyways, can y'all make some noise? I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of it. I'm from the Lalo, and I'm proud of it. Very few, very few get out of it. Speak my mind, so keep doubting it. Outside, so nothing about the rest. I'm made it, and I'm proud of it. But this nation wants us out of it. Cause they know that once this power hits, that they will know something about the rest. We got kids smoking pot, kids having kids. Wanna know something about the rest? It's like no one ever wanted to change. Everybody just wants it to stay the same. But you're on dark and deceiving, I'm deceiving the dark. And why you get your bigger bonus and for people will starve? I'm the one that take pride in my bed, live and die by my bed. They deprived of the day to take me away. And I lie in my grave, we gotta fight, man. We gotta fight for a change. This poverty, it's like I'm living in this hill. And we were tired, that's why the liquor's here to heal. And then I learned how to kind this is the hill. That makes me feel like I exist and it's real. Alcohol and drugs, it's a normal way of life. I hear your fish can't look here because they're in the light. And as we all meet up at the gym again, from another funeral row of a childhood friend, and reminisce on the times we had it to bend. Had to stay and had to live life sad and depressed. I don't know what to do, I damn sure don't know what to say. The goal's to get up out this place, but I wanna stay. I wanna lend a hand and trust, I wanna help my race. And get him out the side of the it's a lucky place. I ain't the man to impress. I'm gasping for breath because I finally got strangled by the Hands of the rest, finally got strength about the hands of the rest. I ain't the man to impress on my back, put the rest from Tulane and I'm proud of it. Very few, very few get out of it, speak my mind, so keep doubting it. Outside, there's no nothing about the rest. I'm native and I'm proud of it, but this nation wants us out of it, cause they know that. Once this power hits, that they will know something about the rest. One road, I walk in, drive and see. Yeah, life is going slow, it's like we travel in the scene. The eagles flying over our heads. In the afterlife, that's leaking over to the dead. Feel by the liquor sipping, it's constant in these ways. And we keep on hoping, hoping, since we stop putting these days. Let them know, growing up, what we see every day. So the ways of this place, ain't no way to escape. And living while the living hell is what it is. My homie call it the red, we stay falling in bed. Can't get my hands up to fit, or say the death of my cousin. Didn't have to do it, rest in peace, man, it's got me buzzing. Steady going to the cemetery, crying my tears. You looking for a best friend, you're fighting your beers. It's sad that we run for success, and I finally got shot by the gun of the rest. I'm from Tulane, and I'm proud of it. Very few, very few get out of it. Speak my mind, so keep diving it. Outside, there's no nothing about the rest. I'm native, and I'm proud of it. But this nation wants us out of it, because they know that. Once this power hits, that they will know something about the rest. It's so normal living now, here to see. People smoking crack, hot with pills and beers to drink. It's the corruption, of course, that ain't leaving our system. Don't believe in the system like you're seen in the distance. You can't seem to leave the addiction alone. And the pushing at home is better risking our bones. Got the corner of my eyes, see the side of it. I won't stop till you know something about the rest. I ain't the man to impress, I'm gasping for breath. Cause I finally got strangled by the hands of the rest. It's sad that we run from success. And I finally got shot by the gun of the rest. Can't do nothing but hope for the best. Then I finally got lynched by the rope of the rest. Still breathing, but remaining depressed. Then I finally got buried in the grave of the rest. I'm from Tulane, and I'm proud of it. Very few, very few get out of it. Speak my mind, so keep doubting it. Outsiders know nothing about the rest. I'm native, and I'm proud of it. But this nation wants us out of it. Cause they know that once this power hits, that they will know something about about the red from Tulane and I'm proud of it. We're talking about hip hop, and since we're talking about uh, Seattle artists who have innovated and have blazed a path, uh, I would like to bring up a path blazer, uh, a artist who sold over three million records. As a matter of fact, at a matter uh, when there was a time when there was Snoop and Dre and a whole lot of other artists who were selling a whole lot of records, out of nowhere came this particular gentleman. He's going to be performing for us tonight but he's also going to spend a couple minutes uh, talking with me. In particular, he did a song recently uh, that he felt had to be done. 
Um, of course, when he first came out, you know, the title OG was with him, and a lot of the lyrics may be suggestive, may be controversial. It is what it is. Sometimes can, hip hop can be that way. But people are diverse and people have multiple sides. Uh, he's going to be putting it down here for a second. But first, we're going to chat if, if we can. Yeah, come on. And come on. Uh, please welcome to the stage. I'm going to have to do this twice, but this is the conversation with Domino. Domino! Hey! All right. What's going on, my man? It's good to see good you. Good to see you. Have a seat. I will. We're going to do this like Arsenio Hall or something like that. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, um, man, you came out of the box and sold three million records, you know, at a time when uh, hip hop was breaking, it was hot, it was moving in the mainstream radio, and the new artists weren't necessarily what they, was what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Go ahead. Um, well, when I came out, this was probably like 92, 93. They had a uh, rap out, and uh, I guess the number one group was like N.W.A. So usually what happens in hip hop is, you know, everybody hops on the back of whatever's hot. And um, we had a style that we created. It was called melodic hip hop that was never discovered on radio. And, um, you know, that's all I knew. That was my heart. You know, they talked about gangster rap. I talked about ghetto rap, but in a musical form. And uh, so what happened is, you know, we took the record everywhere we could and nobody wanted the record. So we ended up doing the record um, independently. And um, all of a sudden, Snoop Dogg wasn't number one no more. So, you know, that's it in a nutshell. You know what I mean? We the first. Melodic hip hop. Domino. Hey. <laughs> well, man. Um... And uh, again, you've been here, the, the man has been here all week in promotion uh, of what we've been doing. He's been on panels and we, we've, been, we've been working him like a mule. <laughs> but he was up for the task. That's what he came here for. He said, tell me what you need me to do. And every time I asked him, he was, are you okay? Are you tired? He says, what do you need? <laughs> that's, that's what it's about. You know, it's, it's every time you meet somebody that's real, you know, the more you grow, the more you see it. You know, if you don't help that one that you see that wants to do the same thing that you want to do, uh, you're going to find yourself stagnated in life. So, you know, when you start meeting people that are on the same level as you and want to take it to the next level, do what you can. It's not a money thing. That comes later. You know what I mean? Go ahead and do something positive for your community and make it happen. And that's what he's about. And like I told you yesterday, when I first met you, I mean, it was like a whole nother level. When you start seeing brothers and, and men in general, men and women, that want to take it to the next level, I just think that, you know, we, we have an obligation to that, those that know how to do what's needed. And that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? All right. So you came up here and you kind of just adopted Seattle recently as your home right. city. Let's talk about the scene. You've, you've been here for a couple of days now. What is your impression uh, of the scene, the hip-hop scene, the music scene in Seattle? Music scene? Well, you know, I, I had the privilege of just listening to, to bands and not so much to just artists that get down the tracks. You know, I'm, I've been blessed to just been able to listen to music. And I think that here talent is so, I mean, it, it, it's so normal. You know what I'm saying? So many people here have so much talent every block that you go to. But, you know, it's not a lot of people that's really embracing, um, you know, the, the talent that's coming out of the 206. So... You know, hopefully that the people that are in here that can make a difference, you know, you need to make it your business to make a difference for your community because this may be their only way out. This, you know, we become successful from what we know how to do. You know what I'm saying? And that should be our passion. You know what I mean? And I just think that when people come and they, and, and they know how to sing or rap or, you know, play a, a piano or whatever, I think that those that are in a position to help their community just need to help it. We are, we are again, uh, creating awareness to early learning and making parents aware of their responsibility uh, as the first and most important teachers in the lives of their child. And I will take this time to tell a story that I have told before and that I've told you. And in the course of telling this story, there will be one bad word that I will use twice. Okay, I'm not going to edit it, but I'm going to tell you there'll be one bad word that I'm going to use twice. twice. Uh, and the song is called Feed the Babies that we're talking about. So in the process of being with my daughter, 
uh, we took a bus ride as part of our time out to see what was going on. And uh, it's kind of what we do because it's public transportation. Everybody gets on the bus. We got on the bus, and a gentleman got on the bus. He was about 18 or 19. And he had a daughter just like me. And I thought, well, well this is cool. And uh, they got on the bus, and then his friend got on the bus as well, who was probably about 19 or 20. And I heard the friend of the father say to him, as he was looking at his young daughter, man, your little bitch is going to be fine. And so I looked, and I said, wow, well, that's not how I talk to my daughter, um, but OK. And I looked to the father for his response. And the father looked his friend right in the eye, just like you and me look each other in the eye. And he looked his friend in the eye, and he said, man, my little bitch is going to be a gangster. <laughs> And so, Ian, I thought that too for a second. You know, I really did. The same thoughts that went through your mind went through my mind. And then as I began to run this through my matrix, if you want to do that, I said, well, well, you know what? We're not so different because we're both on the bus with our daughters. Got to give him credit for that. He didn't have to be with his daughter, but he is. He is taking responsibility to be with his daughter. And then I thought to myself, you know what? Who, who am I and what am I thinking? I also know that what he's trying to do is to protect his daughter and raise her to be self-sufficient and able to take care of herself. So he is trying to instill in her values that will make her successful in the life that he understands to be successful. That is how he has survived. That is how he is asking her to survive. So there are a lot of ways to look at it. It is not a matter of, well, is it wrong or right? Sometimes we just need messages to be given to us in a way that we can understand so that we can have options. And then that is how I look at it today, is that he's not a bad father. I'm not a bad father. We just receive different messages. But we both want the same things. We both want our daughter to be successful. We both wanted our daughters to have a good life ahead of them. And we both wanted them to be in charge of their own destiny. And that's the story that I had to tell you about that. And so I wanted to talk to you now about Feed the Babies and why, uh, as you're coming out with your new album, uh, you felt like you had to do this song. Well, it's a, it's a responsibility. Um, there's so many people that don't do it, you know what I mean? Don't do it for their own. You know, I see a lot of kids that, you know, that I take care of in my community that don't have the fathers or they don't, you know, they're just single parents taking care of kids, you know what I mean? And they don't have the means to make that extra money to put them out there to do what they need to do or, you know, nourishment is the key, you know what I mean? Nourishment is the key to the kid's success. I mean, without being able to eat and getting the proper nutrition that you need, it's going to be a problem, you know what I'm saying? They can't grow to be who you want them to be if you expect them to be something. So when I say feed them, I'm talking about feed them from the food, but feed them with the knowledge as well, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I took on. You know, I just felt a responsibility to it. Seen a man do it when he couldn't. Do it for a sensation. Stop the generation next from the nurture. Karma gon' hurt you. Love our kid is a virtue. Feed the ship. This ain't no commercial. Find your hustle, make it crack like the turf do. Bless your kids with the food like the turf do. <laughs> when they hungry, which feed you must satisfy the needs of your life like seed. When it goes, I don't care if it's a city. I'm gonna take what they need for a picnic. The precious gift. First from a lady die, the beat the tears from a hundred babies eye. As the man is all love when they breathe that. When they look for me, they say I'm a beating. Cause hard times can face me. Even when the job don't pay me. I don't know these fools trying to play. But I gotta be my babies. When in the world so shady. The wrong times when I have to fade man. Cause 
that I'm about to give you. And when this comes out, I want to see everybody getting it. And if you need it free, you can go to domino.com and find me. No problem. We're going to do this. Here we go. A man died for you. Now tell me, would you die for yours? Take that to your core. This is for the children of society all across the world, both light and black pearls. I often watch BET and scope the show when they be gunning. Look at the growth of Teen Summit. They was all for a positive parents' childhood. Little brothers and sisters push a nation to graduation. Jump your fake off the Kodak and enter into reality. Can you feel your KIDs and vice versa? Have morals, keep them up in the church and feel the wild child with cursing and watch it worship through the storms. Keep your head up. Little mamas just trying to keep their little ones from lying. Now school is out of sight. No question, it's all up to you. Respect and love your baby, boo, I'm through. Cause hard times can't face me, even when the job don't pay me. I know these fools trying to play me, but I gotta feed my babies. We in a world so shady, the one time's gonna have to fade me. Cause when I stop, I hear, hey, hey, gotta feed my babies. Uh, before I get out of here, give me some of that bass, break it down. I want some of that bass right good. Yeah. This my boy. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. I love this every time he do this thing. Okay, okay. And I want y'all to give him a hand because he do a lot with this. On the real, that's what the problem that we have. We don't give it up for the real. Yay. You know what? I, I want some of that rhythm now. I want to hear some of that rhythm. What you got for me over there on them drums, man? Uh-huh. <laughs> Give it up for my 
way on the drum, the highway. We still got a couple more pieces. Got my boy on the keys. I know you got something special for me. So y'all gonna break it down, let my keys do something. Walk with it. some more of that bread, so let's go. Job don't pay me. I know these fools trying to play, but I gotta feed my babies. We in a world so shady. The one time's gonna have to fade me. Cause when I stop, I hear, hey, hey. Gotta feed my babies. That's my song to y'all for the night. Y'all have a good one. Our next performer. Uh, and and then we're gonna we got, yeah we got a lot lot more things to show you. Our next performer brings it from a different flavor. Uh, he still calls it hip hop, uh, but it comes from would I be correct in saying a gospel, a gospel feel? Yeah, it is gospel. It is gospel. That's exactly what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. And he's been all around the country spreading his message and his music, Mr. Willie Will. How's everybody feeling? Y'all feel all right? Please excuse my attire. I didn't know this was a grown and sexy event. I would have got my grown and sexy on. But um, this is how I'm, I am, so y'all got to take it like that. This is my brother, Jazz Digger. Y'all give it up for Jazz Digger right quick. My love, my love. He going to help me on this track. You real know quick, what I'm real um, quick, real quick. I want to give a special shout out to Tony B, man. Yeah. This, everybody got to give it up to this dude, man. He is a major dude in this community. I want to tell you, I listened to that show on Sunday mornings, you know what I'm saying? And that story he told about the bus, being on the bus, I heard the first time he told that on the radio. You know what I'm saying? And that was real, it's really effective. I have four kids myself, or we both have children, and raising them up in the right way is a hard thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Still seeing everything that we got going on out here. But us, as this generation, we make that difference. It's all about the parenting. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And early learning, that's the key. You know yeah. what I mean? So and before before we start the song, I also want to give a shout to Domino, you know what I'm saying? Because that Absolutely. ghetto jam beat, you know what I mean? We rapped to that, we rapped to that in ninth grade, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> in a talent show back in the yeah, day. You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, and we love to see that you still got that swagger, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got you still that got swagger. the swagger. Still got the swagger. Yeah. But um, real quick, just a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna take up a bunch of time. But um, what I do, I it's, it's, it's hip-hop in its purest form. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't think there's any room for um, belief or spirituality in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And all that hip-hop is is everyone talking about life from their own perspective. You know what I'm saying? And all I do, I don't try to push Jesus or God down anyone's throat. All I do is talk about life from a Christian's perspective. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that people can respect that. Um, a lot of other 206 artists, I got respect for everybody. I see uh, Parker Brothers down there, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing y'all thing. My man D Black was here earlier, you know what I'm saying? And um, we just, everybody has something to bring to the table. So, you know what I'm saying? There is room <laughs> for whatever anyone has to bring to the table. And this is what we got. I'm gonna hit that track. Feel yeah. free to clap your hands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Cause 
Yeah, yeah. Rock a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Uh, uh, yo, yo. yo. The life I was leading, fights I was beating. Living man tripe, spinning nights with the demons. Thoughts I was thinking, drinks I was drinking. Things I did in secret, lifestyle was stinking. Cheating on my girlfriend, caught up in the whirlwind. Sipping MD 2020 till I'm hurling. Nights in the club, nights with the thugs. Nights getting bugs. Nice with the drugs, knife hits on bars, pipes, clips, and blunts. Running up on mad kids like stick them mob. Clothes in the jewelry, bros getting booty. Shows in the groupies, soaked in jacuzzi. The way I was walking, way I was talking. Day after day, I was blazing and sparking. Basically, godless, crazy and heartless. I prayed to be saved, my ways were just garbage. Living my life on a way. Yeah. Now I only depend on him. Cause I'm a change, a change, a change man. Yeah, cause I'm a change, a change, a change man. Don't need the hustle on the line. Cause I know I'm a patient on the line. Cause I'm a change, a change, a change man. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey,